Hi everyone, Chip Kratz here, Bach Trumpet Artist and Con Selmer Educational Clinician, here today to present a very short little mini lesson on a trick I call loosening the valve cap. This is something I use both with students and with large valved brass ensembles such as a drum corps horn line to really work on creating a more transparent, clear, refined approach to technique. Now one of the challenges we deal with as valve brass players is having to work on playing with a really firm stroke. Uh, many of us tend to do something I call lyrical fingers. We play a pretty phrase and we tend to think about moving the fingers in the same lyrical approach. That's one of the challenges with valve brass. We have to be able to separate beauty of sound, beauty of airflow with an intent and a firmness and intensity with the way we move our fingers and the way we approach the finger stroke on a valve brass. So let's say we're taking a simple technical passage. Uh, today we'll do something like a chromatic scale. Uh, let's do concert F to F. <laughs> I'm going to try to work on making that even more clear, even smoother. So I'm going to do something right away. I'm going to loosen my valve caps, you'll see, just enough. So you get that clank. And what you're going to find is there's actually a really interesting rhythmic pattern that happens when we do a simple chromatic phrase. Now I'm going to blow very light air, but I want you to really focus on the sound of the pattern of the rhythms. time. It's a really uh, organic, interesting rhythmic pattern. I think if we do that enough, we start to want to gain rhythm, a better sense of rhythm, but it helps us think more about this rhythmic pattern, this firmness of the fingers, because loosening the valve caps really helps you know if the students are doing a strong enough stroke or if they're being really lazy. If it's not clanky and loud, then we probably are not using enough firmness to start with. Then what I would do, whatever the phrase is, put it back in place. I might do it one time in what I call an air valve rep, which we're gonna talk about in a future lesson. And the same idea, but now with more firmness in the fingers, but a beautiful sound, a beautiful air, and we're also thinking about that rhythmic pattern. all those fingers being more aggressive. It's going to help with rhythm. It's going to help with clarity because often clarity of technique is not always because all of our students and our groups play out of time, but it's because their fingers are not in time. The air may be good. Their sense of pulse is good, but we're just not connecting the air, the fingers, and the tongue in, in the most clear, concise way. So loosening the valve cap. It's a really fun trick. It's different. Um, it's just something to add to the, the teaching tool bag that, again, if even just one student benefits from this technique, I think it's worthwhile. So I hope you've enjoyed this short mini lesson. I'm looking forward to talking a little bit further about air valve techniques. We're going to talk about some isometric with fingers to really help work on the machine aspect of playing, which allows us as musicians to take that beautiful breath to play with a great sound. As Mr. Ray Corsara used to say, good music plays better. Um, by thinking about always making music out of the most challenging technique, you're never going to go wrong. It's always about turning a beautiful phrase. Thank you so much. Have a great day.